What's up YouTube? I want to do a quick video on a gun I brought to you before. Um, I did some updates to it or whatever and I would call it kind of the ultimate quote unquote uh, California legal rifle like fighting rifle. Uh, what would be like a hard use gun uh, that require no registration. It'd be okay to run uh, high capacity magazines if you you know lawfully possess them. Um, I'm sorry for the delay as far as getting videos out. It's hunting season so I usually been spending my uh, every free moment uh, bow hunting so uh, that's why I had a chance to make any videos here lately. I uh, wanted to thank all the new subscribers uh, that came on board. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate this you know uh, subscriptions. Um, I also started an Instagram um, just posting some random pictures and stuff uh, kind of hunting. It's easier to take pictures than it is to record a video when you're out hunting. Uh, so there's not a lot of content on there. I just started but it's the same name as my channel Dennis1979GM. So if you want to check it out I appreciate it. You guys check out follow my Instagram. Um, I'll try to get some more uh, content on there uh, every time I go shooting and stuff like that. Um, but anyways I want to bring you my Saiga rifle. Like I said I brought to you or showed you guys before but I did some updates. And this is how it is now. Um, this gun is unloaded obviously and it is 100% featureless per California law. Um, it is you know still obviously an AK action. It's got the sporterized uh, buttstock version. You know, this was the version from the factory. Um, I think they called it a sporter. Um, and this this one here, it's got the trigger moved back so you can reach it from a conventional buttstock style. I added the uh, Adro Arms RMR mount. I added an RMR. This is an RM01, the auto adjust uh, 3.25 dot. Um, also, I put the Magpul uh, Zulkov or something like that. I'm probably slaughtering that. But the longer. Um, version of the handguard on it. I put a Streamlight. Um, this is the Protac 1. So it's a single battery, the 350 lumen I think, with a Magpul, just like 11 o'clock uh, M-Lock mount. I ran the uh, AFG, the M-Lock AFG. Um, that's also California legal because it's not a vertical grip, so it's not a feature. This particular gun doesn't have any muzzle device, so you don't have to worry about running a uh, muzzle brake or whatever. It's, it's not a flash presser, so uh, I also went with the Magpul sling, did the uh, Magpul QD deal on the back or on the front here. On the back, I just kind of tied it around because these come with a real chintzy uh, way of mounting the sling in the rear. So I went ahead and just kind of looped it over for now so I can kind of figure out something a little better uh, as far as attaching it in the back. But as this gun sits now, it's 922R compliant with the American parts that are in it, American magazine. So if you, like I said, if you do happen to have, um, you know, high capacity magazines, that were legally uh, obtained, whatever, you know, you can research how that could have came about. Um, they're good to go on this thing because like I said, it doesn't require a bullet button, doesn't require um, registration, which is cool. It's completely 100% featureless rifle. And I would consider it, you know, a hard use rifle because it is an AK action. It's basically an AK gun made in the Izmash factory in Russia. So it's probably the closest you're gonna get to like a Russian uh, spec AK. These are supposed to have chrome line barrels and everything in them. And it's a good shooting gun. Um, I haven't got to shoot it in this configuration with the RMR yet. I just got it together. Just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, how it came out. I'm really happy, you know, how, how it is uh, ergonomically. Um, that thing with the Adderall mount at co-witnesses, if you see here, it's got a little blade cut in the back there. So it's like a lower third co-witness. I had to bring up the front sight just a little bit to reference that. And as long as the back comes up, I think these are supposed to be at like the 300 meter mark or something like that is where they're supposed to ride. So as long as this, you, you bring this up and then bring the front up and shoot, you know, whatever yardage you zero it in, you're fine. You can, you can zero off the front sight. And then like I said, with the RMR makes, you know, gives you a red dot. Uh, AKs are kind of different as far as they're not as easy as an AR to mount optics to. Um, this one does have the side rail. I just didn't want to run a big, huge, you know, side rail piece to just mount an RMR. So I didn't want the added weight. I did have a uh, uh, Ultimac on here first and then first mount that RMR up here. It didn't co-witness well, plus it was heavy and adding a lot of bulk to just add you know, a little two ounce sight or whatever. So I, I thought this was the best way to go um, with the Adderall Arms. I believe Midwest Industries makes one similar. Same style, you just you know replace the rear sight. So anyways guys, I just wanted to bring you this. Um, like I said, it's, it's pretty much done now and the configuration is probably gonna stand. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit and and see and just see if I gotta make any kind of tweaks, but I think this is how it's going to stay. Um, but like I said, once again, these are out there. You can find them. They've definitely went up 
in price to buy them secondhand because of the importation thing with Russia. Uh, but you can, they can still be had, um, like on cow guns, stuff like that. You see them, but you're probably in the 800 ballpark range now, somewhere in there, give or take a hundred bucks. You know, they used to be new. Um, I want to say 400 bucks. I think when they first came in um, in the country and stuff, I want to say they were like 325 or something really, really reasonable. Uh, and then, what, like I said, they just steadily went up. And then with the importation laws or uh, the deal with Russia, uh, Kalishnikov. Kalishnikov um, Industries or whatever it is that they that they put the sanctions on, they're not coming new into the country anymore. So if you can pick one up, I, you know I highly recommend it. They're cool, uh, especially for us folks here in California. I would say it's about the best thing going right now. Um, you could also do a Mini 14. Obviously, I did a video on that as well. Um, but I really, really enjoy this because it does take standard, you know, AK magazines. Um, they're easy to obtain. They're cheap. And even if you have to run the 10 rounders, you know, uh, 10 round AK mags are cheap. Magpul's making them now, so you can get them 12, 15 bucks or something for a, uh, Magpul mags as opposed to like a mini 30, uh, which you're gonna pay, you know, pretty good penny for as far as uh, mags go from Ruger. So, anyways, guys, like I said, th thanks for sticking with me. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more videos up. Uh, bow season just ended here for us, but rifle season starts up this weekend, so I'll be back up in the woods uh, every chance I get for rifle season. Um, I'll try to bring you guys a video if, like I said, if I do get something, um, I might put a disclaimer in the front so I know a lot of you guys, just because you're gun guys, you're not in a, you know, some people aren't in the hunting, and that's fine, you know, whatever, I'll try to put a disclaimer if I uh, do posting on videos of me harvesting a deer or a bear or something like that, um, just so if you guys don't want to watch, you don't have to, but anyways, like I said, thanks for the new subscribers, uh, check me out on Instagram, uh, like I said, same name as mine, Dennis1979 is the channel here, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, thanks for watching.